Good morning, it's early, and I am headed down to West Tech 2017. West Tech is one of those trade shows every couple years. Uh, it's currently housed at the LA Convention Center. Manufacturing equipment, vendors, partners, services, things like that. Uh, there's some machine tool builders. Uh, Haas will be there. Uh, we actually don't have our own booth this year because we have our own trade show or open house um, next month. So we're putting all our resources into making that as awesome as possible. But we do have a little um, a little booth uh, with a shared uh, a shared vendor that I'm going to go work today, answer questions, and hopefully I see some of my customers there. Uh, I've already got some emails from some that we're going to be stopping by, so I told them to come say hi to me. So I'll try to capture a little of the video of West Tech 2017. Again, this is one of the smaller trade shows, um, but that did not used to be the case. I came into this industry three years ago, and from what I hear, West Tech back 10, 20 years ago was like a two, three day event, and it went well into the evening, and it was as big as they can get, and it was a fun, fun time. So I look forward to West Tech actually starting where it's at now and getting back to that sort of uh, that lore and that uh, that aura that I keep hearing from people in the industry how huge it was and how much fun it was so I hope we can actually get back to that so I'll do my part and uh, I'll try to capture a little bit I get a you know half an hour break and uh, maybe I'll eat and I'll walk and I'll film a little bit so everybody that wasn't able to attend this year can kind of see uh, what's going on there so stand by I got a two and a half hour drive I got my coffee and I got some things to think about, and I'm just gonna enjoy listening to some music, maybe listen to uh, some uh, machining podcasts. There's a really good one called The Business of Machining that I highly suggest. Uh, or there's another one called Making Chips. So that's kind of sometimes what I do when I'm on the road. So I'm gonna sit back, and I'll catch you at West Tech. <laughs> LA Sports. The Angels beat the Astros nine to one last. I'm going crazy. This traffic is horrible. Oh, Los Angeles, you're killing me. Hey everybody, I'm here at West Tech 2017. I'm here at the Air Turbines uh, booth with my friend Tony, and I'm uh, answering questions on the Haas VF2, general Haas questions today. A little later on, when these guys give me a break, I'm gonna wander around the show. It's still really early right now, um, last day of the show, and I'll try to capture as much as I can. Hang tight, and uh, when I get a chance, we'll go around the show, and I'll bring everybody up to speed that wasn't able to come. Uh, Talk to me. <laughs> Everything that you loved about the last control, uh -huh. it's going to be the new one. It might take you a day to get used to it. Yeah. Some people say it's got a couple of extras. Okay. But other than that, it's built for the future. Hey, Tony. Okay, so we're at your booth today. This is your booth, and we're, you're borrowing a Haas. Yeah. But first, I'd like, just like to say thanks to the guys at Anaheim for allowing us to use this VF2 machine. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, the air spindle itself is going 40,000 RPMs. So you'll see that the main machine spindle is locked in place and you can now up your RPMs from 8400 I believe to 40,000 RPMs with the flip of a switch for the click of a button with one minor setup. This is an operation that allows for no thermal expansion. You don't have to worry about oil or maintenance or brushes or gears. You simply plug it in and use it when you need it when you use your small diameter tooling. Let the Haas machine the really powerful Haas machine do all the hard work, all of the roughing. Then, when you get that small diameter tooling, rotate the air spindle in, it's as simple as that. How many spindles do you offer? So we have uh, three different spindles. We have a small and a medium, which can be utilized with the tab system of the Haas machine, beautiful. In which case, you don't need this block, this airline, this collar, it all gets removed. It's the simplicity of just a spindle with the air going through the back. So we have small that goes up to 90,000 RPMs. 
a medium that goes up to 65,000 RPMs, and the large that goes up to 50,000 RPMs. And these can be put in the tool changer, and you don't have to put take tool these changer, in and out in, there, in the tool easy. changer. That's okay. exactly right, yes. The, uh, all of them, whether it has the black and collar or it has the simplicity of using the tab system, can all be put through the tool changer, so it's a fully automated situation. There's no more plug and play or the slow down time of having to load and unload the spindle. It's all just ready to go with the full auto change. So Tony, what are some applications that you see this used most in your opinion? Is it you know, dental, is it medical? That's a great question and I get it all the time. And the general answer is every industry. Um, yes, it's medical, yes, it's dental, yes, it's aerospace, yes, it's mold work. But the concept is anyone that has to do work that's a quarter inch or smaller, typically you need, if you do the surface feet calculations, you need higher RPMs in order to reach any of those mathematical equations to make the end mill perform like it's supposed to perform, which will in turn add to tool life, surface finish, and lower cycle times. So that is all a bonus when you get to anything that's smaller than a quarter inch. Okay. So we do also work on materials like Inconel and titanium and harder steels, which kind of blows people's mind from time to time because you think air powered, no power, but we're up to 1.6 horsepower and it's different from everyone else on the market with our patented turbine system, which allows us to keep our power under load, which nobody else can do. What are people missing? Why aren't more people looking at the, your solution is since they don't know about it yet are you fairly new would, is it yeah. something that feels like it's on the fringe and not quite mainstream yet because it's an amazing product what's holding people back in your opinion is it I just would, know how that, that's also a fantastic question that we get all the time um and i think it's a little bit of all of it right. we are continually growing our booths get bigger our name gets bigger we've been around for 35 years but a lot of times in our industry you'll have one group that embraces technology and another group that kind of, they know what they're doing and they kind of want to stick to it. So yeah. it's up to us to re-educate in a positive way of how much better you can do and taking that fear away of change. Not a lot of people want change. So we try to make it as simple as possible with the plug and play situation. We try to have as, as little maintenance as possible because we want it to be easy. And then we encourage, and we go out and demo at any customer that wants a demo to encourage the removal of fear, to encourage change, to embrace something up to 90,000 RPMs, which can be quite scary when you think yeah. of how fast that thing's spinning. So we try to do that as a, as a full turn operation. You're available, your team who I just met over there is available, but you also go out in person. This is the key, a lot of people are gonna do in phone calls and emails. You guys are available per, in person in the right application to come out and show how this works? That is absolutely correct, okay. yeah. Uh, as part of our customer service, <clears throat> we, we love to mentor the Haas perspective of you know, let's be number one in customer service. It's important to take care of our customers. We want to do the same, and we know that encouragement and being there to build confidence by doing a demo for the customer at their location. So we absolutely are there when any customer wants to run a demo to prove that this will work for them. So when you say demo, you mean their Haas machine, you bring in the product, Ho hopefully you get an idea of what you need to bring, so you're not bringing your entire catalog, but you'll go up there and you'll do a demo? Typically, yes, it starts with an email. Hey, what do okay. you need? Is it a Cat 40? Is it a BT30? Is it yeah. uh, whatever situation happens to be the taper situation? Okay. Um, what type of material are you running? That kind of thing. So we can prepare the model that we need, which, which horsepower, which RPM we need. What diameter tooling are you running? We take that into consideration. Okay. So we also know how much power we need and what kind of depth of cut we're gonna take. And then yes, we take all of this, put it together. We go visit the customer for their application and prove their application to work with our tooling. I think that's all for now. So awesome. looking forward to hanging out with you today. Yes. You're and... a pleasure, Scott. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> so Fresno Fresno City. City, College. City College. Yes, we have the Haas Mini Mill. We have the two VF2. We have a VF2 SS. We I just know. got a VF2 SS YT. Which is this right here. Yeah. You have a VF2. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And okay. we just got the, the we just got a new one there. Yeah. And what do you think of Haas, guys? Oh, Not bad. I'm liking the Mini Mill. I love it. Yeah, the Mini Mill. That's a, that's a, it's a little stubborn little booger to work with. It's the old one. Oh, okay. The one that still has the floppy drive. Oh, that's like 93 or something. <laughs> it's a yeah. But it's still running. It's still kicking. It's not giving up. They don't give up. All right, so uh, when you guys start your own shops and you start your own businesses, are you going to get a Haas? Oh, yeah. I might be getting sure. one, all right. If I'm, I'm going into welding, but if I'm going to, I'm going to be fabricating my own parts out of aluminum. <laughs> we appreciate it, man. Yeah, that's cool. I'm going to fabricate my own stuff. Thanks.
Hey, I'm here with my friend Mark. We've been bumping into each other from time to time. Mark is an instructor at Fresno, Upper Fresno. City College. City College. You have four or five Haas? We have uh, four Haas. Is that four Haas. Total of 15 CNC machines. 15 CNC. So you're pretty well balanced. Right. Um, you're teaching Haas, you're teaching Mastercam. Mastercam. You've been doing this for a long time. About 28 years. Um, are you seeing a big demand for operators coming, shops calling you saying, we need guys? I'm just trying to tell people that there's there's work out there. Yes. You know, if you learn this stuff, you're going to be able to find work. Yes. Especially if you learn Haas. Yes. Well, what they're looking for is people who can uh, use the controller, understand basic G codes. Right. At our program, we actually teach them how to set up the whole machines from vices all the way through. So they're going to be a walk into a shop. You walk into the shop and you'll be ahead of anybody on the floor. Yeah. They're not having to retrain you. Not retrain. Or, or, or correct bad habits. Correct. You're going to be a walk in and help somebody from where they're at to where. And you also do some 3D stuff now. We're doing 3D. We do. Uh, uh, what, what we're getting into, actually, we're going to be getting into the five axis. We just yeah. get our, we got our new VF2 SS YT. Okay. And uh, we're going to be doing the Trunnion. Trunnion. So we're a lot of schools are doing that now. Yes. You know, we're getting a lot of demand for more five axis. Multi axis is very important. Yeah. I, I feel like that's going to kind of, next couple of years, people are going to be ordering machines right into five axis. Right. Yeah. Right. It'll be a lot easier. In fact, it's a smart investment right up front because you're already wired up for it and you don't have to keep yeah. the five axis in there. So whatever production you can do, you can always set up the machine. Yeah. And that's why, why education is important because we teach them how to put yeah. uh, vices in, take them out, put other trunnions in, take them out, fourth axis and so on and stuff like that. So thanks for everything you're doing. I love bumping into you at trade shows. Right you're on. always so high energy. Obviously, you're passionate. You really believe in this stuff because you do it on your free time too. As yes. far as I know, yes. you're not just leaving work and going and doing something else. You're tinkering. He's got his own ideas. He's a really smart guy. So I also got a YouTube channel. Yes. Okay. What is it? Let's. It's I Mark C N C. I Mark C N C. And that's with the M A R K. Charlie Nancy Charlie. I didn't know that you had your own C yeah, yeah. YouTube. Yeah. All right, man. Right on. Right on. And Instagram too. I Mark C N C. I Mark C N C. Yeah. Take a look at our college projects. Our students. We put them on there. I also put some family projects on there. And it's all about making things. Right. All right. Thank you. Okay. So I'm on a break. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do in uh, 30 to 40 minutes. I'm going to try to go as soon as fast as possible. We're going to go walk up and down as many aisles as I can. You guys get to see a little bit about West Deck. It's really slow right now. Um, it's the last day and it looks like people are already came on the Tuesday and Wednesday. So it's a lot busier than this. I don't want people to think West Tech is this slow. As soon as you walk in, I'm sure you can see around me. It looks pretty, pretty full. Pretty, uh, fairly large convention center so we're gonna start all the way at that end and then head up. Well, PM Machines, I know these guys. I'm not Steve, I'm Skyler. Hey oh. Skyler! <laughs> How's it going? Hey what up dude? Good to see you. What do we I'm, got? Live? I'm, I'm doing a little video, a little okay. after thing. I'm That's gonna... my hair. It's right? good, it's good, good. good. Skyler everybody. This is one of the best guys. I love working with Skyler. You have machines you're looking to buy, sell, use machines. Uh, usually this is the guy I email. Um, so thanks for everything, dude. You got it. Man. Appreciate it. We keep walking. Here, yeah. All right. So I'm here with Brian from Chick Work Holding. I usually Morning. introduce Brian when uh, I'm talking about machines. So this is the guy right here, the myth, the legend. He's my good friend. Thank you, Scott. We, we go to Charger games together. We do. <laughs> and then you guys are with CNC West. CNC, CNC, West. CNC and your booth is up there, right, right over there. Yep. So the magazine, online or online physical? And impress. Everything. Okay. See you guys. Sure. See you guys. Yeah. Bye. Have a good show. Uh, Universal Robots just sold. This machine right here, this is the UR10. I just sold this to a shop up in uh, Buellton. We're currently installing it. Universal Robots, great product. Uh, consider it for your shop. Uh, take some of the uh, the parts that you know you're going to do day in and day out, and uh, look at uh, consider a robot. Definitely, we'll come and we'll hook it up and we'll train you. But uh, really cool stuff. Universal Robots. So this is an amazing company right here. It's called Proto Proto Labs, and they have last I heard something like three to four hundred Haas. So what they do is you send them prints, you send them whatever you have, and they'll take your part. And it's like a Kinko's, man. You just send them what you need, and they'll make it and ship it back overnight. Uh, they got a bunch of programmers that will help you refine your program and get it ready for manufacturing. And they're a great company. Uh, let's take a look at their booth real quick and uh, see what they have. So these are some example parts. Very durable. Picture of their 
manufacturing plant. And, oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. You can see a row of haws. It's pretty cool. How many haws do you guys have? So, Something. Uh, worldwide, I believe we're over uh, close to 500. 500. And your locations are where? Like, where's your main one, too? Uh, Plymouth. Minnesota, okay. suburb of Minneapolis. We also have a Telford, UK, and a suburb of Tokyo, Japan. And what's your specialty? Is it large projects? Uh, are you? I mean, batch runs? No, one piece. To, one piece all the way to up to volume production. Okay. And if somebody has a print, they send it to you. We need 3D CAD model. 3D CAD model. Okay. And then you're going to run it on yeah. your Haas? That's correct. And you're going to ship it back as soon as possible, as fast as possible? Yeah. Standard lead time is three days. What sort of inspection do you guys perform? Uh, we do dimensional inspection, just standard process inspection. If you need more than that, you can do full inspection or okay. ports, dimensional inspection or ports. Mm -hmm. It's kind of up to what the customer needs. It definitely seems like you're growing. I heard about you two years ago, and it yeah. seems like you've almost doubled by then in the last yeah, two we years. Are, we're growing. We grow around... I think last year was around 27 percent. 20 something percent, yeah. So love it, man. Love your story. Thanks, Thanks. for using Haas. Yeah. <laughs> Good partnership. Yep. Someone's buying a first VF2, Haas VF2. Right. They just want to get their shop up and running. What's the compressor they need? Right, that that right big? There. This one? SM10. Yeah. SM10? Yeah. You might get by with a five, but I'd rather go with this. Okay. This is the one How many machines are going to be able to run on this? About three four. machines? Or two, I mean. About is it? two to four? Okay. Because yeah, you're right on the 10 CFM range with, yeah. the, with your machine, and this is 42 CFM. So right around there. All right. I hear good things. Customers love these. Yeah. Thanks. You've done a great job for us. Thank you. Everybody, CJ, we used to work together for like a while. Oh, we, yeah, a yeah. little while. He uh, helped our HFO in Anaheim. We kind of got it started with, uh, in many ways, with Autodesk, which we love. I love. Uh, I, love, you, I love you. Love yeah. he moved up to San Francisco, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, really smart guy. You're in the product development team now. Yeah. And you work yeah. on Haas and you work on a lot of different machines. Yep. So kind of one of the behind the scenes guys. Super smart. Love to working with them. And for you shops considering uh, changing uh, CAD CAM or definitely give them a shot. I mean these yep. guys are, are great. So. Cool. All right, man. And maybe email me and I might reach out to him for questions. But good guy. Awesome. All right. Thanks. See ya. No, we got Haas Tech next month. Oh, is that what it is? Home turf. We were looking for you guys. October 10th through the 13th. Yeah, we wanted Biggest to talk. Biggest one yet. You a tech app guy or what? Uh, I'm a territory manager. Okay, we, we, we want to talk to an app guy or whatever. Can the show? you get us in touch with somebody? The show, that's the best way. Yeah, South we're not Tech, going to be at South ha Tech. No, Haas no, no, no. Tech next month. Awesome. October 10th through the 13th. Where's the van? Oxnard. Okay. We'll have over three to 5,000 people there. Yeah. Everybody, it's all hands on deck. Every Haas person will be there. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Hey there, everybody. I'm going to insert a little video here. It's Friday uh, towards the end of the day, and I'm going to start to edit this video. And I kind of realized my walkthrough tour at the end of this video was kind of a little long. I mean, I, it took me about 45 minutes to walk the show. I filmed as fast as I can. Even though I edited out all the miscellaneous, it's still way too long. So I'm going to speed up the rest of the video now up to 200% and add a little music so you can get kind of a flavor but you don't necessarily gonna see each vendor like I was kind of hoping. Um, overall the show was great. Uh, I recommend it to anybody that's in the industry. I picked up a lot of pointers, I got a lot of literature, um, met a lot of cool people and highly suggest uh, attending next year or the year after that whenever it is again. So if you want to watch the rest of the video it's just gonna be a little music and a little trade show and enjoy it and you'll get an idea of what the show was like. Until next time, see you on the road and God bless.
All right, I hope you enjoyed the tour. That was my 30 minute break. Back to work, I'm gonna walk over to the booth and uh, finish the day.